All right, so today we're going to be talking about exploiting ridges um, and, and caustics. And by that, I mean the surface areas that have little pits and, and hills and valleys and such, the little nooks and crannies. Take a close look if you can see. I'll try and get it in the shot here. If you look at just the texture, um, you can see it's very um, raised. And when you use oil paint or oil sticks, as I'm going to use, um, it can have a very profound effect. And I think, I'm not really sure which of the which orientation I'm going to have, it's likely going to be this way, I think, when I'm finally done with the piece, to give you an understanding of what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to be using oil bars by Windsor & Newton. These are um, pretty effective for this particular type of thing. Um, not necessarily the best one out there for pigment, but it certainly does the trick. It's a workhorse. It's one of the things I have in my studio all the time. So. Here I'm, I've chosen crimson as well as titanium dioxide. So I want to use the titanium dioxide to bring up lighter areas, and I want to use the crimson to kind of offset them to show a stark contrast. So watch this. I'm going to take the crimson in here, just rub it a little bit on there, and let's just do the crimson for now. And I'm just going to rub it in. And let's exploit some of this here, too. All right, so we've got that one on there now. So now I remove the excess with paper towel and vegetable oil. So it's a very simple process. Messy, yes, but simple. Anyone can do it. trick is figuring out where it will enhance instead of taking away from what you have. Now look how it's starting to fill in the ridges there and really accenting the textures. That's what really brings it out. taken enough off of the crimson. Let's try it with the white now. And I think I want to bring in this area here and then perhaps just use a smear to add additional lightness in this area. And just like everything else, just give it a good rub in. Now, had I taken care to clean my gloves beforehand, this would not have looked as pink as it looks now, but that'll still work. Because if for nothing else, the pink is going to tie together the crimson and the white. Okay. Use a fresh paper towel here. You see how it brought out these little white shapes here? 